What most people do is they wake up and they say, what should I do today? And they think about all the things that they could be getting done. But the problem with that is that you probably have a big list of things you could be doing. You probably sit there and you think to yourself, I could do laundry, I could clean today, I could get groceries, I could work out, I could dust a little bit, I could just watch TV, I could, there's lots of things you could be doing. But one, you're wasting time by thinking about all these things you could be doing. Two, you're not adequately figuring out what you need to be doing. There's a big difference between what you could be doing and what you need to be doing. There's many things that we can all, that we all could do, but there's a few things that we need to do. What should I do today? Like that question by itself, if you wake up asking yourself, what should I do today? You're already behind, you're already failing. So I was doing a coaching call the other day with a client of mine and during the conversation, we were talking about structuring your day, planning your day, the reasons why structuring and planning your day is so effective. And it made me think about something that I don't think I've actually shared in any piece of content I've ever created when it comes to productivity. I don't think I've made a course on this. I don't think I've made any videos about this. I don't think I've written any blogs about this. But I thought about it and I wanted to share this right now. I tell people all the time, especially when I have clients, I tell them, plan your day out. Most people don't like to do it, but doing it will make such a dramatic impact on your productivity. Doing that one thing alone will make so much impact. It'll make such a big difference on how you structure your day and how much you ultimately get done. And the thing I notice with a lot of people is people don't realize that trying to decide what to do is extremely costly. It's extremely, it, it costs you a lot of time to just think about what to do. Now you might sit there and think to yourself, well, of course it does. Of course it costs you time. But I don't think people really understand the degree to which trying to always plan things out is costing you more time than it should. And this is why I say to people, have a planner. I, I thought about this after talking to my client. Throughout the week, if you're always trying to plan how things should be, think about it this way. Have you ever been to a restaurant, you get a menu, and you see a bunch of items on the menu, and the waiter comes by and says, what would you like to order? And you say, I'm not really sure yet, give me a few more minutes. And you keep doing this over and over again as you go through the menu and try to decide what you wanna eat. It doesn't seem like it, but people do that in every single area of their lives, every single day, all the time. And that begins to add up from a time perspective. If you're always sitting there trying to decide what the best course of action actually is, you waste so much time. And this is why I say to people, have a planner. Because the planner almost prevents you from having that, I'm gonna call it like a lack of decision momentum. Hopefully that's not too confusing, of, too confusing of a name for it, but that's what I'm gonna call it for now. When you can just make decisions quickly and instantaneously, you save so much time. You save time in the form of the deciding part, but you also save time when it comes to actually bouncing from task to task. If you know exactly what you wanna do, it's easier to just switch from one thing to the next. For example, today, my plan was wake up, work out, do some cardio, make videos, look up some properties, so I'm looking at some real estate properties, and clean. I planned that out the day before. So the, because I planned that out the day before, it makes it so much easier to get all those things done. It makes it easier for me to wake up, know exactly what I need to do, which is do cardio, know exactly how long that cardio should take, which is one hour, bounce instantly to the next thing, which might be shooting videos. I know exactly that I wanna shoot videos for about two hours, three hours, cool. Then I can, then I can bounce to the next thing, looking at properties. Does that make sense? This is how you get more done throughout the day. What most people do, they don't do that. What most people do is they wake up and they say, what should I do today? And they think about all the things that they could be getting done. But the problem with that is that you probably have a big list of things you could be doing. You probably sit there and you think to yourself, I could do laundry, I could clean today, I could get groceries, I could work out, I could dust a little bit, I could just watch TV, I could, there's lots of things you could be doing, but one, you're wasting time by thinking about all these things you could be doing. Two, you're not adequately figuring out what you need to be doing. There's a big difference between what you could be doing and what you need to be doing. There's many things that we can all, that we all could do, but there's a few things that we need to do to get toward our goals. And so I realized that a lot of people do this. Like as I'm, I, I'm, as I'm brainstorming, usually when I have my clients, afterwards I send a recap of what the session was about, what we talked about in my two cents. And as I'm kind of going over the recap, I thought to myself, so many of the things on this list could be done very quickly and easily without much effort, but 
throughout the day, I imagine this person, and this is many people that do this, I imagine what they do is they sit there and think to themselves without the planner, what should I do today? Like that question by itself, if you wake up asking yourself, what should I do today? You're, all, you're already behind, you're already failing. You should never wake up thinking to yourself, what should I do today? What needs to be done? You should wake up knowing exactly what needs to be done that day. And this is the reason why I think so many people struggle with productivity. They just lack guidance in their own lives. This is why I think that having a planner is kind of the ultimate tool to fix this. I've said this in many videos, I'll continue to say this, but I, I don't see too many ways around this. The two things that I found in my life that have helped me become as productive as I've been, and I'm gonna say this with a, a lot of arrogance, I'm more productive than most people I know, by far. I can wake up, go to the gym, get in shape, get in better shape than most people, I can work on my business, progress further in my business than most people. And I'm not saying I'm like a multi-millionaire, I'm not a millionaire, nothing like that. But I am saying that I do make progress, which is what matters the most in life, progress. Because everyone has different goals. I can make more progress than most people. If I wanted to write a book, I can write a book in a few months if I really wanted to. Most people would sit there and say, I wanna write a book, and then years would go by, they never actually write a book. If I wanted to make more friends, if I wanted to meet more people, if I wanted to socialize more, if I wanted to network more, I could do it. I can do all these things in a single day. And the reason why is because when I wake up every single day, I know exactly what it is that I want to do, how long it'll take, and where I need to be in order to get it done. I can reverse engineer the process. And I think this is the thing that separates the productive, the highly productive, from the people that are not productive at all, which is most people. Most people are not very productive. Most people think they're productive. Because most people kind of just go to work and they come home and they treat going to work as productive. But that's the issue. They're not planning their day for themselves. Their day is being planned for them by someone else. And I think this ultimately leads to a bigger thing. You having the planner, you structuring your day, you knowing exactly what you want to do in your day is what gives you control over your life. And I think deep down, that's what most people want. Most people want that control of their lives, but most people will never get control because they're not willing to structure their day out effectively. They're not willing to plan things out. They're not willing to sit there and say to themselves, what exactly did I do today that contributed to my personal goals? Not the goals of my spouse, not the goals of my boss, not the goals of my shareholders, what contributed to my personal goals today, objectively? I think once you sit there and start to ask those questions, you'll realize that you probably don't do that much for yourself. And once you realize you don't do that much for yourself, hopefully, if you're a sane person, you'll want to fix that. You'll want to start living for yourself. And the way you start living for yourself is with the planner. You sit there, you pull out the planner and say, what exactly do I want to do? Okay, I want to do A, B, and C. Cool, how do I do that? You write out a, a new list of ways to do that. Then once you write out the list of ways to do that, you simply put them in the planner. Okay, well, if I wanna get in shape, I need to eat better and go to the gym. Okay, well, let's spend one hour planning my meals for the week. Cool, done. Let's spend another hour going to the gym today. Cool, done. And now suddenly, in three months, because you've, you've planned your day out and you were consistent, that's the other part, you gotta be consistent, but because you planned your day out and because you were consistent, you now have a six pack and it wasn't, difficult. It didn't require hydroxy cut. It didn't require any new fad diets. You didn't have to go get some kind of miracle drug that Oprah may have recommended to you. You didn't have to do any of that stuff. All you had to do is put it in your planner and just do it consistently over a long enough period of time. And now you've seen results. It didn't cost you very much. It didn't, it wasn't very difficult. It didn't mentally fatigue you because you've already put it in your planner. So it's, it's done. It's done for you. And you feel better about yourself because you're in control of your life. And I'm using fitness as an example, but you can extrapolate this to everything. If you wanna make more money, you wanna start a business. I had a client in the past, he said he wanted to start a business. And I said to him, well, have you started trying to start a business? And he said, no, I haven't. Well, why haven't you started, have, why haven't you tried to start a business? Well, because I haven't planned out what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, you know you want to start a business and you know that what kind of business you wanna start is unknown to you. So the next step should be, look up different businesses that might actually fit what you want. And I say to people too, project five to 10 years in the future. There's a good saying, begin with the end in mind. But this is the reason why I say things like this. Because if you begin with the end in mind, if you have an idea of what you want your life to look like, it's easier to reverse engineer the steps to get there. In my personal life, by the way, part of the reason why I'm doing this coaching and the part of the reason why I'm a referral real estate agent and not a normal real estate agent, I don't do showings, I don't take listings. The reasons why, the reasons, the reason why I do this is because I looked forward in my life and I realized I don't wanna be stuck in one location. I don't wanna be stuck just living in Northern Virginia. 
I want the freedom to be able to go to Texas if I want to. If the real estate looks better in Texas, I want to be able to go to Texas. If whatever, the politicians make bad decisions in Texas if I'm there and I decide that Arizona is a much better place to be, I'd like to be able to go to Arizona. And I'd like to be able to bounce around where I want to go without the loss of income, without losing money. Nowadays with the internet, you can work, say for example, from Bali and still make money in the US. It's not, it, it's not unrealistic nowadays. I think most people haven't caught onto that, but it's not unrealistic. It's what I call geographic agnosticism. But in order for you to do that, you have to structure your life effectively to get to that point. You have to be able to make money not tied down to one geography. You know, I know a lot of real estate agents in Northern Virginia. They can't make money outside of Northern Virginia because their license limits them to where they can make money. So if anything happened in Northern Virginia, they're kind of screwed. They're screwed or they have to go find a new job or get a different license in a different state, which is fine. They can do that. It's probably not that difficult, but it limits your possibilities in life. It limits your opportunities. And I think what we truly desire, most of us, not all of us, but I think what most of us truly desire is just freedom. We like the ability to feel like we're living our lives the way we want to live it. And again, like I said, you can't live life the way, you can't live life on your terms if you're not in control of your own day. That's the bottom line of it. If you have a boss that's always telling you what to do, you're never gonna live life on your terms. It's impossible. If you have a job, even if it's your, if it's your own business, and you don't know how to get out of your job, you don't know how to go from being maybe someone that works in the business to someone that works on the business, there's nothing you can do about it. You're gonna be a slave to your job forever. There's nothing you can do. But the only way to overcome these things is planning out your day effectively, taking control of your time back. That's it. So hopefully this makes sense. Like I said, my personal recommendation for most people, don't wait to the last minute to try to plan things out. Wake up every day knowing exactly what you wanna be doing that day. Plan things out all the time. Be structured. Take control of your life back. Have a plan for the next five to 10 years on where you wanna go and what that looks like for you. And just reverse engineer the process and do it consistently. Hopefully that makes sense. If you like the video, please click the like button. I'd super appreciate that. It helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment if you agree or disagree. I'm happy to debate you in the comments or make things more clear. If maybe I didn't say, if maybe I wasn't speaking with enough clarity in this video, I totally understand that. And please, if you did like the video, if you want to support the channel, please just click the subscribe button. It's totally free. It's 100% free. And it helps more people see my videos. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers in the next couple months or so. I'm at 500 now, I wanna to get to 1,000. So by clicking the subscribe button, you'll immensely help me achieve that goal. So look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace out.